A few different apparatuses are called these days radiometers. The Crookes radiometer, the photovoltaic solar radiation meter, the thermoelectric solar irradiation meter, and some uh, radioactivity detectors. Anyway, going through a science store, almost certainly somewhere on a shelf will be a Crookes radiometer spinning. Stronger the illumination, faster it spins. It was invented in 1873 by William Crookes, and since then it is commercially available as a thought-provoking novelty. The reason for why it spins eluded scientists for a while, and even today the explanation given is sometimes wrong. Crookes, and even Maxwell, Told for a while that the radiometer is the proof that light has momentum, until it was observed that the vein spins in the wrong direction. The momentum of photons is very small because the product between their mass and their speed is very, very, very small. Photon mass is almost zero. The photons carry substantial amount of energy. H nu, but this energy is interacting with matter in quantum ways only. If light is not reflected or transmitted, it will be absorbed, will excite atoms, produce ho uh, holes, electron pairs, or just raise the temperature of the absorber. What actually happens in a Crookes radiometer is that light and other electromagnetic radiation, radiation that enter the partially evacuated bulb hits up the dark side of the veins uh, of the spindle more than the white side. This will create a plum of molecules more energetic behind the absorbing side, the dark one, then behind the reflective side, the white one. It is more or less like in the simulation now on your screen, molecules are more agitated behind the dark side of the veins. This will make the spindle move accordingly. The scope of this presentation is to introduce our mystery Crookes radiometer. It has double walls forming a cavity uh, surrounding the spindle. It is filled with fluorescein, which absorbs the radiation impinging on the bulk and re emit it a different, a different wavelength. As you can see on the image, the green expanded laser beam is absorbed by fluorescein, but Fluorescein re emit what it absorbs, and this emission raises the temperature on the back side of the veins. And this, as explained, in the, as explained previously, makes the spindle rotate. Certainly, it looks as the reflective beam pulls the veins.